Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this clip art of a protractor, and I emailed them back and forth. And there's plenty of protractors on the internet, but he said he's got to have this one, and it's pretty bad. It doesn't trace very well. So I've already done it and sent it to him, but I thought I'd show him how I did it. This is one of the easiest things you could probably do, and just. First of all, I'm going to lock, go up to a range, and I'm going to lock the protractor so I can't move it. So I can zoom in and out. And I'm going to make a rectangle. And then I'm going to change it 0 0.02, round the corners off. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of it. And I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And then I'm going to just make it a little shorter. Whoop. Just make it a little bit shorter. Control D and make a duplicate. Holding down the control button so it's perfectly parallel with the other one. We're going to make one more control D. We're going to rotate it back to zero. And we're going to put it at the top one. That way all of our corners are the same. And you've got the same kind of the thickness. The part in the middle really doesn't matter right now. We could make it, I'm going to make it a little bit shorter. We'll bring it up into here. Then you need to make these lines. And we want, we don't want rounded corners on any of this. They have pretty sharp, pretty sharp corners. So I'm going to draw a, a rectangle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this one and find out that it's 0.13 wide. So I want 0.13 wide. I'm going to make it a little bit longer. I'm going to bring it over into the picture and I'm going to rotate it until it's kind of close to that. Now I'm not quite long enough and it's a lot easier to make it longer when you're parallel with something. Rotate it, bring it into the picture a little bit better, grab your rotation. We're going to move our rotation to that corner right there. And for the video, I'm going to call that good enough. Then what you do, you want to take and convert it to a curve. And then when you hit your shape tool, you can grab just one of those nodes and let's make it a little bit better. That looks pretty good. Now we need to make this little indention. And what you're going to do is take the shape tool and click a node right there. I'm double clicking. Then I'm going to double click one right in the middle. And then I'm, whoop, had them all selected. Double click back up here, back up again. It jumped. Get off of those. I don't know why it's jumping. We'll bring that out a little bit. I've made it jump, but we want that kind of like that. I want to bring that out, bring that back. And what's happening is I'm basically making them both at one time. Now I've got my object, I can control D, and then I can mirror it, holding down the control button. That way it's perfectly in the same spot. Now we're not going to worry about this, the inner circle yet, but we need to make the outer circle. I'm holding down the control button to get a perfect circle. I'm going to move it in and... I'm going to change my nudge distance to 0 .001. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger by holding up the, the control button. And then I'm going to nudge it in this place. And that's good enough for the video. I'm going to select all of this and I'm going to weld. So I've got everything done except for the center circle. And I did that for a reason. I'm going to control holding down the control button to get a perfect circle, bring it in, 
I am going to go to range and convert that to a curve. Then I'm going to grab the shape tool. I'm going to double click a node right there and double click a node right there. And I'm going to bring this node up. Voila. Let's uh, unlock this. Just go to arrange and unlock all objects. Move it out of the way. There is your protractor. Take the smart fill tool and fill it in. I've got something hidden. Something stopped it from moving. Tell you what, let's do our yellow box trick to see if there's anything hidden in there. Put it to the back of the page and you can see I've got a white block. Don't know where that came from. Take the smart fill tool. Change it back to black. And fill in our parts and there is your protractor i'm going to left click no outline now i'm going to he he does want this uh, rounded triangle so i'm going to do a a second video on how to do that anyway i hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching